Okay, let's talk a little bit, and I do mean a little bit because there's not much to talk about uh, in terms of uh, just setting up your project so that you can uh, export it off to the uh, iPhone for submission to Apple. And uh, this is um, mostly just has to do with the, um, the published settings that you set up here, okay? And uh, we'll use a project that I was just working on uh, that had to do with the accelerometer. So, uh, you guys can kind of prove this concept early on that this does actually work. I um, exported out the, um, the application and uh, dropped it onto iTunes. I didn't, uh, I didn't go through the store or anything like that. Just, um, just did a quick little test publish. And look at this. Here it is on my actual phone here. Oh, worst logo ever. It's backwards, but uh, that's just... What's going to have to happen here? <laughs> so anyway, you can see that uh, definitely the accelerometer is behaving um, as it was in the uh, the tutorial. If you watched that, of how this was um, was coded, it wasn't that too was not actually that much work, which is um, always encouraging to do something kind of fancy for um, well, I almost think of it for free because the code is so easy. So um, there it is. It looks like a little marble rolling around on top of um, on top of my uh, device. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go and. Uh, export this little guy out and we will talk about what you need to do okay so step one if you want to kind of do these in steps uh, obviously go over to uh, flash and uh, set up a new project and uh, you're gonna go with uh, iPhone OS or at some time later you could um, just change your publish settings to uh, be for the iPhone OS and uh, let's go over here to publish settings so if you did already have a project you'd set up you could uh, pull it down from here and then let's look at the uh, the settings for this and I'm almost getting close to losing a bunch of people because um, the key thing or one of the key things is going to be under here uh, with deployment and you are going to need to sign up uh, with Apple and pay them about a hundred dollars uh, to get some certificates and uh, provisioning profiles uh, to actually um, to, well, to really to test it, but also to um, eventually submit it to the store. So let's go and um, look at the those things that you need in just a moment. But if you uh, want to go back over here to general, um, these are all kind of obvious. The output file name, this is going to be the file that you end up dropping into iTunes. Um, and it'll get created. It's like a little application. And then the app name, that's kind of obvious. Um, Version, another obvious thing, just you can put in whatever you want there, but um, you do have to keep in mind when you are submitting something to Apple, uh, I, I'm pretty sure they do match up the version numbers to what you tell them your version is gonna be. So if you say it's gonna be 1.0, um, pretty certain that that needs to be 1.0 over here. Um, aspect, portrait, or landscape, two options there. Um, I, have ex I haven't messed around with um, clicking either of these on or off, uh, but um, I, they should be kind of obvious audio auto orientation so if you were to flip the device it's going to auto uh, it's going to orientate to portrait mode if it's in portrait mode and then full screen i'm not even positive that might have to do with the um i don't know maybe the ipad if it just blows up but um, one of us will find out at a later date um rendering auto um i've set this to um well i, I Obviously, I've said to auto here. You got a CPU, GPU. Again, not something I've really played around with the difference. And then uh, device, iPad, iPhone, and iPad. So that's kind of cool. And then um, included files. So if there were um, things that you were uh, bringing in, like let's say I'd loaded up a JPEG dy dynamically, um, stuff like that, you'd throw inside of there. Um, but again, it all just kind of packages it out to this, uh, this application file, and that's the... Um, that's the meat of it in the end. Okay, so let's go and uh, talk about the deployment. I'm going to need to switch over to sign into my developer account with Apple. Okay, so you want to find your way to this link and uh, just click on the enroll in the uh, developer program. It is uh, just that $99 a year. It'll be worth it if you somehow make an application that uh, sells millions of copies. Uh, once you've done that, you can then log in and find your way to the Dev Center. And from here, you'll go over here to your provisioning portal and we're going to take a look at certificates first. Uh, you've got two options here, your development certificate and your distribution certificate. Uh, you're going to uh, export out both of them uh, the same way. Uh, for development, 
uh, you'll use this uh, just for testing your application like when you install it on your own phone and then ultimately you're going to want to use your distribution certificate uh, to sign your application that's going to get uh, submitted to Apple and which is not something that I've actually done yet I haven't um, made a flash CS5 exported application and sent it off to Apple so not 100% certain um, that that is the case, but uh, from everything I've read, that is true. So uh, but for right now, just go with um, development. You're going to want to download this guy. And when you do, you're going to get this um, uh, certificate file. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and um, do a little fake download here. Sorry. So you're going to get something like developer uh, underscore identity uh, dot C-E-R. Uh, you're going to then find that file and... Um, you can probably just uh, double click it, uh, but you could um, drop it into uh, your application called Keychain Access. In which case, then you're going to um, have something like this. Okay, so here it is. You're just your keychain. And then you will go over here to File, uh, Export Items. Okay. And. Um, this uh, file format is this uh, personal information exchange, it's uh, .p12. Uh, click on save, and I would just put it someplace where you're not going to uh, get rid of it later. Okay, so like a lot of times I'll put things to my desktop and I'll just go trash everything on the desktop because I figure eh, it's kind of like the step before the trash. <laughs> it's the desktop. Uh, but, you know, you might want to put it in like uh, documents or something like that. Someplace you know that you're not going to go clean, clean house. Uh, once you do hit save, uh, it's going to ask you for a password. And that is important. You do want to remember that because, and I'm just going to cancel through everything here, uh, they're asking for the password here, and unfortunately, they don't keep this in here. All right, you, you can remember the password for this session, but then when you um, close down, it doesn't keep it in there. All right, bummer. But that'll take care of that. And then the next thing you want to look at is uh, your provisioning por profile. And again, uh, that is going to be over here. All right, um, and this will be something that you just create a new profile for and. Uh, um, I've been using this, uh, just one called Fatbird. Just, it was just some application I haven't uh, done anything else with yet. So that's why I was using that one. And again, same um, kind of deal here. If you're um, just developing, you're going to go through development one. Uh, your distribution one um, is a different one. Okay. And But again, you just download them. Where's my download window? Downloads. And you get something like this, Fatbird distribution. Okay, so you, then you just want to find that file. Uh, keep it someplace safe, and then you will um, locate it through here. Uh, and then the other thing is your, um, actually, you know what, let me not skip over that just yet. Um, this file, too, you're going to need to add to iTunes. Okay, so if we are back over here in iTunes, which I'm going to have to load up. Okay. Um, let's see, let's go over here to the store real fast. Um, you're going to go and add to library, okay, and you're going to um, find that, um, that file. Okay, so just add it in there like so, and that will complete your duties with the provisioning profile. And then, yes, finally, let's take a look at the app ID name, and I need to get back over to where I was previously. Oh, I'm sorry. App IDs. Okay, um, you are going to want to make a new app ID, and let's see, where was the one I made for this guy? All right, so let's go over here to configure. All right. Um, you get to choose this part of it. You don't get to choose that part of it. Um, but this is the part that you just want to remember, and they re recommend you go with this, this reverse domain name thing that I'm doing here so that's com then dot cartoon smart then the um, the name of the application and that is as you can see that part right there and then that gives it a um, a, a unique application um, name and even though that this um, application is not using it um, for stuff like in-app purchases or let's say game center that's more where um, your app ID would um, would come in so um, 
I think we've talked about everything there. Uh, let's go over here to icons. Sure enough, you can uh, throw in here a, a bunch of icons, and as, as you uh, kind of click through here, uh, you just go and locate them on your computer and add them as you will. Of course, this is a, some zombie icon. It has nothing to do with the accelerometer game. But that takes care of... Uh, I think everything to do with um, exporting this guy out. Um, well, we haven't actually uh, done an export yet and dropped it into the phone, but um, I'll show that in just a moment. Okay, so I, uh, I just exported this guy out. I did uh, get my password in there for the certificate, and I managed to actually pick out the right password. Um, I need to write it down. Uh, and then uh, it takes about 30 seconds to publish. I'm not going to do it on screen here, but uh, the fruits of my labor have been to create this um, .ipa file here. And you will double click on it or you can just drop it into iTunes, or the logo for iTunes, and it'll ask if you want to replace it. You do want to replace it. Sometimes, though, that doesn't really replace it. So um, if that happens, what you want to do is delete out the application on your phone itself. Okay, so hold down, you know, make your app, make your icon shake, and then um, delete it. And then, if you do have to go and, and uh, go that route, um, you'll need to be sure that uh, back under here, under apps, you go and you find uh, the application in question, and be sure that it is checked back off to. Um, install itself again okay so make sure because it'll be it'll look like that if uh, otherwise and uh, then you should be good to go um, you do of course you have to sync it back up and um, you will have an application on your phone and then don't forget too that um, uh, right now I'm using the development um, certificate and the development uh, mobile provisioning profile. So uh, if and when you do decide to submit something to Apple, you're going to want to switch those off to your uh, distribution versions of all those. But um, that, uh, that brings us to the end. So I hope this was uh, insightful.